All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. What we're doing today is a CVT uh, transmission uh, fluid change. And we have some AMS oil, 100% synthetic CVT fluid. And it even says on here, because you need the Nissan NS2 for the Ultimas here. So this is what we're putting in. Same thing we actually did with the Rogue. Uh, you can check out that video. Uh, I put about 37 plus thousand miles on this vehicle since I've got it and uh, I really don't know when the last time the CVT uh, fluid was changed out um, But I know these vehicles in particular the Nissans with the CVT People have had a lot of issues and I think it's just because they're not changing the fluid out um, So we're gonna go ahead and change it out on here and hopefully uh, give this car some more life uh, make it last a little bit longer Really quick, simple, and easy. So let's go ahead and get into it. We just got done doing the oil change on it, so make sure to check out that video. And driver's side, this is your CVT right here. This is your pan for it. Uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up before we go cracking this open, just because you don't want contaminants and stuff uh, on your drain bolt or going back in if, when you're putting it back in. And we'll give it a quick spray. It's regular parts cleaner. And it's going to be a 19 millimeter. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's a little, definitely a little dark. It should be clear, but better safe than sorry. So we'll let that drain out, and it doesn't drain out everything. Uh, you're gonna put roughly about five quarts back in. Uh, you can measure how much flu comes out, and then put in that exact amount if you want to really do that. And you want to check your fluid level while the vehicle is running. So we'll let this drain out. And if you have a new crush washer, go ahead and throw that on there. All right, so we're pretty much done draining here. So we can go ahead and wipe this area down. And we'll go ahead and put our drain bolt back in. And now we'll tighten that up. And we'll spray it off with some parts cleaner. This way we can see if there's any leaks. If so, you'll just come back down and, and tighten it up just a little bit more. Just be careful because you can strip these out by over tightening them. So let's head up top side. So these are locking dipsticks. So you're going to need a flathead or pick or something to get in there to go ahead and press this down. There we go. And you got two cross hatches there. You want it to be filled up to that second cross hatch right there. So this is where it's a good idea if you wanted to measure how much actual fluid came out, then you could put that exact amount back in, and then you could uh, put this on a level surface and then run it until it gets up to operating temperature and then check it again. And you may need to add a little bit more, but you don't want to overfill it either. start adding here all 
All right, you're gonna wanna put your dipstick back in and make sure this is on the opposite side so it doesn't lock down. That way you can check it. So just rotate it the opposite way. Just like that. Now we'll go ahead and fire it up and we'll back it up off of the ramps here on flat ground and let it warm up. All right, we got it nice and flat now. And what you're gonna do, you wanna wait to get operating temperature, but you go ahead and press the brake on, put it in reverse, leave it for a couple seconds, neutral, and you just want to do this with all the gears. Plus, minus. And now back in park. So once this gets up to temperature, we'll go ahead and check the fluid level and see where we're at. All right, nice clean dipstick. We're up to operating temperature. And you can see we gotta add just a little bit more on here to get up to that cross hatch. So just do a little bit of, at a time. You don't wanna overfill this. So now we can go ahead and put this back in and lock it. Now it's locked down in there. And we can go for a quick test drive as well. All right, so drives good, shifts good. All fresh oil change, make sure to check out that video. Fresh transmission fluid change. We are all set here. Pretty simple and hopefully give your vehicle longer lasting life, especially with these CVTs. So we'll see you back at the garage. So a real simple CVT transmission fluid change and shifts nice, no issues, no leaking. And we're all set here. So make sure to check out all of our other videos and everything else we do here on the farm, hit that subscribe button, that like button, thumbs it up. And as usual, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye, Obo. Bye, guys.